Hey y'all, it's your girl Dre, but not with an E. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, we're going to be doing a question and answer college edition. My roommates will probably join me in later on in the video. They doing homework night right now. So yeah. I've been laying in the bed all day, y'all. Um, I went to get breakfast and stuff, but other than that, I've been in the bed. It's Sunday. I'm going to study again, and then I'm going to sleep because my eyebrows is tired. So yeah. This is not all the questions. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but we're going to start. So, the first question is, how has it been so far? Um, If you haven't watched my videos, my prior videos, I go to Xavier University of Louisiana. And um, so far, the school, I'm going to get into the school itself. So, most of y'all know that Xavier is a private Catholic HBCU, right? People think of that and they get intimidated because it's not like Grambling or FAMU. That's fine. You don't got to go here. But for me personally, I didn't expect nothing more and nothing less. I actually, the school actually been better than what I thought it was going to be because honestly, y'all, this was not my first choice, but I came here based on money and major because my major is biology pre-med, which get into the next question. What is my major? My major is biology pre-med and y'all know Xavier is a good school for when it comes to like pharmacy and the medical field in general. So yeah. So far, it has been very fun and very eventful here. I'm sorry if y'all hear background noise. I think I got to speak up. So, it's been very eventful. My bad. I've been talking low. It's been very eventful so far. And I don't like talking this loud, but I have to because I'm by the window and they be loud. So, Xavier so far has been very eventful. The work is very rigorous. My advice to anybody who want to come here is just make sure that you're on your P's and Q's and that you won't fall behind. And it's only been one week for me. Like, it's not hard. You just have to pay attention. It's all about you paying attention to how bad you want to learn. They're not going to want it for you. They want it for you, but they're not going to tell you that they want it for you. They're just going to give you the material that you need. And if you pay attention, that's on you. If you don't, that's on you. So, so far, it's been very well for me. I like the city. It's very boring here. It reminds me of Chicago when you do everything. But Chicago never boring. Like, I don't know how to explain the city. It's nothing to do here. And if it is, I'm, I'm just either not old enough or I just don't know about it. So, it's been fun. The party's been fun. The school is decent. I like it. What is my long-term goals and my profession? My long-term goal... For my profession is to become one of the number one obstetrician gynecologists. I want every woman to come and be like, I want you to deliver my baby. I want you to look at my body because there's something wrong and I know that you can handle it. You know, I want every woman across the world to want me to be their doctor because I know what's best for the woman's body and for the baby and their belly or babies plural what is one thing that i want to experience college wise one thing that i want to experience i want to meet people in my profession that has been to this school like i want to never scratch that i want to shadow that's what i want to do here i want to shadow somebody in my profession while they're delivering a baby but i'm pretty sure that's gonna come with medical school because you know yeah, so, I don't know. But I don't really know what I want to experience in um, college. It's just so much to come, you know? Is it really hard how people make it out to be? Okay. I, okay. As a student, as Xavier, everybody going to tell you it's hard. We don't want to scare y'all and say it's hard as in the work is just so hard. No, it's hard because it's a lot of work if you pay attention and you get the help that you need it's not going to be hard and it's not going to be easy it's just challenging it's not like oh i think i'm slow i can't go here 
It's not no Yale, Harvard, Duke. It's not none of that. And even you can go to Duke if you wanted to, but still. Xavier is a school that is very rigorous. Time waits on nobody. They're just going to move past you. It's up to you to go get the help that you need from the resources that they tell you to go to. Your professor going to teach. If you don't understand it, you can ask questions in class. But if you need more help, you need to go get that help. Xavier is more challenging than hard. I don't know if it's just my perspective, but for me, I don't find the work hard. I just think I need a little bit more help. So for instance, for chemistry, I'm struggling on this algebra part. This one algebra part, and I'm struggling on conversions, even though conversions is like a middle school thing. I just forgot it. So I need to go, and I need to go get help before Wednesday because that's what my quiz is. It's up to you. Xavier is just like any other college, except it's going to be a little bit more challenging because that's how they push you to be where you need to be. And when you put Xavier on your records or when you're applying for a job, that's a good thing. You can get accepted I'm not going to say you can get accepted anywhere, but it's just a good thing to have Xavier on anything of yours. When people say, like, if I go to President Barack Obama and I tell him, oh, I go to Xavier University of Louisiana, he's going to be like, oh, oh, you must be bright. You know, it's just, Xavier's not that hard, but it's very challenging. So if you go here and you survive it, kudos to you. I know I'm going to survive it because, I mean, hey, I'm not giving up. That's just simple. You can't come here and just expect to not do nothing. You can't come here and think, I'm not going to say y'all HBCUs don't be teaching, but I know y'all got hella time on y'all hands compared to Xavier. Xavier, you're in class, baby. You're in class. You get the weekend see yourself, but baby, you in class. Don't get me wrong. We be having fun. Our professor's cool, but that work? Yeah. How are you getting used to the hang of things? Okay, when I first got here, my biggest problem was waking up on time because I have 8 a.m.s. When they say, y'all, when they say 8 a.m.s is not like an 8 a.m. in high school, it's very true. You got to get yourself up and you have to walk to your class, bro. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like high school was more pushy. Like, oh, you have to go here. Your parents made you go to high school. Or like, there's nobody here to tell you to get your up for class. Like, no. And for instance, when I go in class tomorrow, 8 a.m., we start our test at 8 a.m., baby. If I get in the class at 8.01 or 8.05, I already missed the test because the test don't take that long. And they not going to, baby, look. So getting your seats at AMs, I was struggling because for one, I was still on summertime, baby. I went to sleep till 10. So when I got here a week prior, I was practicing on getting up early and having fun, bro. I had to set my alarm at 6.30 just to get up. But now I do 7 because I can get in the shower for 30 and then I can walk out at 7.45 and I can walk to my class and be there by 7.55, you know? But still... Getting used to the uh the time was my biggest struggle, but other than that, everything is cool. I know where everything at now. I know where the bookstore at. It just took time and walking with my peer beings and stuff like that to know, you know. So I'm used to everything by now, but one thing I can say that I'm not used to is like I'm not gonna say being around a lot of people, but I'm a freshman again, so it's like many older people here again. So I feel like I'm a little girl to them, but I'm not. I'm grown, just like y'all. Treat me the same. I just be getting real nervous in front of people. I fold under pressure here because I be, I don't know. That's why I stay in my room and I do TikToks or they see me at the parties. Because, baby, look. Mm -mm. But yeah, follow me on TikTok, y'all, at I'm Hendrix, period. How are the walk, walks to classes? and back and this goes along with the question of how i got used to the hang of things like uh for y'all who school didn't get y'all prepared for like flex schedules or not flex schedules because they not called flex schedules here they're just a regular schedule like say you got a class at eight you got a class at nine then you don't got another class till two you gotta get used to stuff like that so when it comes to the walks you basically be wanting to decide do you want to walk all the way back to your dorm or do you want to stay where you at and see your next class type stuff? The walks for me are pretty decent, even though I got the long... Me, the L, and DP, we always in the back of the campus. So, 
walking seems so freaking far. Like, but KD and Mike stay in the middle of everything. Like, they can walk across the street and go to the cab. They could walk across the street and they'd be at the admin building. But us, we gotta walk all the way over there. Like, I wish I could show y'all, but I don't wanna pick the camera up. So I'm gonna record a separate video and I'm gonna insert a clip of where everything at. It's not really a far walk. It feel like you're walking down the street to go to the corner store, but it's still a decent walk. So you wanna get up early just in case you're running into something type stuff. I got used to the walks. The walk's not that bad. The camp is not as big. It's not like I'm at Florida A&M and I gotta walk up hills. So, yeah. Even though I want to be a rattler, but anyway. Or an Aggie. But the walk's not that bad compared to like other big HBCUs. We very like small, but we are in the middle of like residential. Like I'm gonna record a video. Y'all gonna see if people live on, people houses are in between KD and the L. Like, people live over here so we got to be real careful that's my biggest fear is one of these people at these houses kidnapping me and don't nobody know and i'm right next to him the whole time like i don't know one one of these houses on this block give me that type of app too like it's abandoned and somebody gonna kidnap me yeah but no nah. mm, the walks is good though why is michaela your favorite roommate because we the same person we the same person. I'm dead. Now I think I'm more uh, social than Michaela, but Michaela like she. I love her. I love Michaela. I don't know why she my favorite. I love Hannah too. I love all y'all equally, but me and Michaela talked more before we got here. Why did you come to Zula? Money. I came to Zula for money, but now they don't want to give me no more. I mean, Zula give you money, y'all. Don't get me wrong. They gave me the most money, actually at the schools that I was really looking at. It was between NCAT, Howard, and... No, it wasn't Howard, because Howard didn't give me no money. Don't try to come in on my video now when I told y'all to come in here 30 minutes ago. Hi, YouTube friends. Y'all, yeah, this is Hannah, my other sweet mate. Hello. What's the questions? I went through half of them, but it's another half. She irritated. <laughs> she's so extra why did we come to zula okay Money. so yeah Money. okay show them the trees, show them the trees. Oh, you can't she keeps talking about showing the trees bro they have the best trees here in the no, world they, like, they have some pretty trees y'all seen princess in the front yeah that's what when we when we drove down here that's what i it reminded me of trees no they got palm trees that's they got, the only they, they got palm trees and regular trees. They just mixed up. I like going to places like Miami and California. Don't come in here, That's both fine. of y'all. <laughs> Not. I told both of them. I'm still doing my English work. Yeah. Exactly. I told them y'all was doing homework. <laughs> I could get either. Her bed is up so high. No, y'all just too low. I can not get up high for real. <laughs> you two friends. Yeah. Why do we come? We they said why do we come to Zula and Hannah talking about the trees? Bro, and they have <laughs> yeah, nice coming from our trees. I love me some trees. No. And now they have great sunsets here because we're one of the lucky people. We are on the fifth floor, so yeah, we, do we see can everything. we can see like the whole entire like our state. They were like, they got crows <laughs> here. <laughs> they be so scary. They like, remind me of deeper. You know those Edgar Allan Poe stories you used to have to read. Like, I only have to read one of those. We had to read them all the tale, time. Tale, 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 tale that dude no. Sucking. They ain't got nothing to do with why we came to the baby here. <laughs> well, I'm a biology pre-med major. Maybe this will be a smarter answer. So this is what I be telling adults. I said, I'm a biology pre-med major and Xavier places the most African-American doctors in medical school that go on to graduate and actually practice medicine. Exactly. So if you're looking to be in the field, I'm kidding about the fields. We don't do that anymore. We're free. We're emancipated. She ever said stop. <laughs> Major in But us personally, oh Zula yeah. gonna step. They yeah. gonna put you where you need to be. Yeah. So yeah, no for real. all all BS aside. Think about your education and your social life. Mm -hmm. Like me, when I came here, I thought I was gonna be miserable, but then I found Hannah and I got Michaela and then I got my sisters here and the park has been decent. It's just fun. You yeah. you gonna meet your people. Same for same for Michaela though. Uh, 
she came here because we everybody mostly everybody who came here is it's pre-med or a pharmacy yeah so it's people who like doing like yeah uh, neuro and that's just what it's and... like being at the number two hbcu in the united states of america period yeah very much educated very yeah. much very well successful mm -hmm. Very much guaranteed job, you know. That's what it gave me for real, though. Like, I'm gonna have a good I mean, even don't get me wrong, y'all still have to work hard. We're working hard. I mean, it doesn't look like it, you know, twisted up my blanket and things, but no, but I told I them was already literally just doing homework before I crashed this video. I was telling them because somebody asked me a question earlier on and said, um, is it really hard how people make it to be? It's not hard, it's challenging, though. It's like the professors are all cool, but the amount of work you're getting you just got to keep up with it that's how it is it's just challenging <laughs> no i want michaela to be in here for this one this Ooh. question says is the boys cute no well i got ain't nothing like five boys here like i feel like she's boys. not correct there are some <laughs> that are cute i was gonna no. she got a boyfriend but it is some fat it's some it's some decent boys yeah. here but they not my type yeah, that's what that's what I was gonna say. Xavier is ninety five percent. It's literally <laughs> no, it's girl. niggas here though. Don't get me wrong, we got a whole little basketball team. Yeah, the no some of the athletes fine though. Yeah, but they just cool. not my type still. Yeah, they just I don't know. The upperclassmen look good though. They do. I don't like no freshmen. I like some freshmen. I'm a freshman and I like me so. Oh, it's just one <laughs> freshman. I like that too. <laughs> I'm talking about. They talking about boys. Platonically, they talking about boys. Oh, I like boys too. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I like them romantically. So. Oh what the hell is she talking about right now? <laughs> hey, what's your favorite thing about college so far? Ooh. Uh, me, the new people, I guess. But I'm. I really don't, y'all. If I'm not getting food or going somewhere, I'm not outside. I would really say like. It's like college in general, though. like the like our like it's our experience college. so far. How do we like it, or like what do we like about it? I mean, those trees, like oh my god, like, I like hit I like time. the Chicago Student Union because we be Ever. team. I'm gonna Shout put out some Mississippi. I'm a. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna put some videos. <laughs> I'm gonna put some videos of the Chicago uh, thing in there. And next semester, we got 312 Day. If you know, you oh, know. There's also a chemistry club that we're a part of now, me and Michaela. I'm a part of it too. I just had to study that night. We just like, you know. We, I joined because it's like I a, need to you learn. You know more what about though. Xavier? Is that like, if you're like really like. I wouldn't say like me because there's still like obviously everyone is unique but if you're a person like in high school like you didn't really fit in I feel like coming to Xavier you will find some people to fit in with because it's college right? we all got different personalities and Hannah's the funniest one I'm not, yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. really that funny y'all just be like willing to laugh a lot like no she, I, I think she's like, funny because we all experience something and then Hannah's just like the one that'd be like, what? Or like, I don't know how to explain yes. it, bro. But she funny. Listen. My favorite thing about Xavier so far is <laughs> uh, they really be, I think they be, I they be one of these. I love the peer yes, too. Love uh, I like the student yes. union. Yeah. yeah. Nobody, it's it's not no Shout it girls here. Aaliyah, Maverick, Beth, yeah, I love, love I them. didn't go to none of the uh, color squad meetings. <laughs> mm. Oh, wait, no, I went to one. Yeah, with me or the other one. You I went to two. that. You went to I, two. I tried to go to one, but oh. then they tell me that I had to go upstairs. And by the time I went upstairs, y'all was gone, so I just went back to the dorm. And then the second one I went to was the um, capping ceremony. I like Zula because they be wanting their students to get involved for real. Yeah. And not just parties. Like, they be wanting us to see different cultures and stuff like that. Have we seen the Greeks? She want to see. Yeah. Okay, so, first of all, um. They well, all ugly. Not, I lied. I love the alphas out here. I love, I, when I came here, I thought I was going to be like, if I went to the parties, because they are not a party school, so we go to outside parties and they put Zula name on it. Yeah. So, when we go there, 
I be seeing Q's, Alphas, and Kappas, and I thought I was going to be loving the Kappas and the Q's, but baby, I love yeah. the Alphas. Mm -hmm. I love the Alphas. Mm -hmm. They're called ice cold, I remember. Mm -hmm. I feel warm, but you know, they say they ice cold. Eating. They're they I seen the the Q dogs. They be picking people up in real yeah, life. I never thought I'd see that. Yes, and, and like it was yeah, like it was a her first day on campus too. Like, like she had she was, for real. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was like, you living a dream, babe. You just got here. I love them outfits. <laughs> How do you make friends in college? Uh, I made for the way I made friends was because I hang around people that had friends, and then they became my friends. Because me, I couldn't make friends <laughs> on my own. What would you? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you had to. You gotta speak up for yourself here. Ain't nobody here to talk to you. Right. Don't, they, don't. They'll look at you and walk away. They'll look at you. Y'all can make eye contact. And they'll walk away. And they'll be wanting to say, speak up, Buki. You ain't gonna make no friends if you quiet. Yes, I be like, hey. You gonna, you gonna be lonely as hell. Yeah, like no, you gonna be lonely though, for real. Yeah, you need to make so, some. Freshman year, I'm still Thank like you. I have friends, but I'm just struggling to make friends in class. Like all of my See, friends me, don't have classes with me. People be like saying sad remarks and we be laughing about it, but they not my friends. But like me, I don't know. I just feel like the people who be posting, "Oh, college so boring, I don't got no friends." Them the people who just walk past people and mean love them. Like how could you not have friends in college if you talk to people? You just don't talk. Don't fuck. That's your plate because you ate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody keep asking how was it adjusting to college life. I mean, it's college. It's normal to me. I feel like honestly, I just moved away from home and I live with somebody I don't know, and I'm in school. That's so true. Like me, I think because at home I stayed in my room by myself anyway and made my own food anyway. Why were you making food in your room? Who? I wasn't making food in my room, Hannah. I, I went that's out. What you said. No, I made my own food at home. I go in my room and I eat. I always was by myself, anyway. Oh. Besides my two brothers, they was ignorant and they messed with me all the time. I missed them, but I'm here for education, so I'm gonna be back. In, in like, damn, be back in like three, four months. It's gonna be September, October, November, December. So we got like three months, spooky. How would you rate your experience so far? Ten out of ten. Mm. Well, out of ten. So I'll give it a, a eight and a half out of ten. It ain't perfect, man. I don't know. It's not. We we barely get started. Well, I just finished like doing three, four hours of homework, so I'll give it like a seven point seven. I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Eight. Cause it ain't perfect. Yeah, we all said eight. She said seven. Seven point seven. She. A bit. We all said eight. It kind of rounds to eight, but it's just not good enough. It's because you got a seven point seven. Yeah, because you could have got seven point five. Right? Okay. No, because well, how like, is seven? you got a seven point seven shoe. It's a little bit. Right. You know what? They should invent that. Like, no. I feel like that would be so. Nice. That would, so people could have the exact shoe size. Yes. But then they would have to make so many pairs of shoes. So. But it can be uh, order only, only basis. But then that'll be they'll be taxing. Yeah. Oh, that's I another thing, y'all. I put one shoe on my. I came all the way up here. Because, that's another thing. Save yeah. your money before you get to college, so you can have some more spending money, and you don't gotta bring everything, but bring some shoes. Yeah, and don't spend your whole savings on a party. Yeah. Mm -mm. Go to somebody else's party and turn up. Just chill, chill out. But don't like. And don't buy no party tickets until you come to uh come on campus. Nobody don't skip the line tickets. Yeah. No. Don't buy no, no. Skip the line tickets because no. you're not gonna skip the line. Fucking with DJ PJ at top level. <laughs> they got me fucked up. I'm gonna be $20 on a ticket. I went. Cause I just skipped the fucking line. I wasn't finna wait in no I can't line. Relate. I bought a regular ticket. Yeah, so well, buy don't ticket. buy no tickets. tickets. You know how people be po welcome back to school um, parties. Don't buy them because the group chat say they gonna go. Because somebody else gonna post a party and then they gonna wanna go to that party. That's what happened to me. But I went to both, so it didn't matter. And my night was lit. Issue two six. They mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still with you. I do it. One, two, three. Issue two six. Hello. Oh, shit. We're not doing it no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We love our HF and our IB. We got I three B more in front of my seat. I love our HBC. You, X, you, all of our HF and my B. My B in front of my C. Xavier, you, X, you. She said, okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
but it say, are you happy with your choice to attend an HBCU? Yes, I didn't even apply to no PWIs besides the one in Illinois. It was like, I had to go to an HBCU. Like, my mom said, you going to, like, no. I always wanted to be at an HBCU because people was like, oh, you're an Oreo. And I'd be like, I proved you wrong. <laughs> and look at me. I'm so black. So young, so turnt, so amazing. Not too young and turnt. I am. <laughs> I'm that girl. On days I feel like it. Like today, I was not that girl. <laughs> but it's okay. Because you know what? At our HBCU, you do not have to wear Christian, Lewis, or Goose CC. Oh, okay, look. They said put that stuff on. You really don't. But Lynn actually did not. Gym shorts, no. They killed me. They don't know how to dress that up. Like, oh my God. Shorts, when I told y'all, we got a Chicago white, group chat. Top. We had a Chicago group chat and we was like, okay, we're going to put that stuff on. And if you, most of y'all from Chicago, y'all watching my video. We so designer materialistic out here that if y'all come down here, y'all going to be considered rich because all y'all do is wear designer. Out here, they can put on Converse and say they put their shit on. So I'm gonna live out here because I don't got time to be buying designer every day. Yeah, I have. I don't even think I yeah, have I these dunks and get on my face. So all I got for you. Exactly. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> if I have, do I have <laughs> is Coach designer? Sort of. Well, that's. I, got a coach I really first. don't. Well, I, that's <laughs> all I got. That's all I got. I don't have any designer, and even I have a Coach purse. I don't even wear it. I literally wear my off-brand purse every day. And people be like. Oh, I mean, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about shoes in general. Like, everybody here know. wear dunks and slides. And, right. Yeah. Like, this this slides. school is dunked out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it rains, like, every day. So, the whole like, first, first everybody wear dunks and yeah. cocks. Like, yeah. If you put I don't on, even own a pair of dunks. I got... Don't dog. even put real shoes on, like... Cause it, I it bought two pair of ones out. here. I got two pair of ones. My Marc Jacobs, my off white. Oh, I got yeah. my Yeezys. I got... Then them them of uh, them oh, I have some golf ball shoes, shoes. Golf <laughs> and some slides. Crocs. That's what I got. I yeah. got some more. The last question is: Do you think you will ever attend it? Do you think you will ever regret attending the HBCU? No, no. I won't ever, regret ever. going here because mm, 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 mm. if you ain't going to HBCU, where the hell could you go? <laughs> I mean, no, but like PWIs, like people be like like pretending to be so happy. But the thing is, is what makes PWIs fun is that they make a mini HBCU. If you are following what I'm saying, like, <laughs> no, 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 you I see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people be it's like, like I love my PWI, but all they do is copy what HBCUs do. Exactly. So why not go to an HBCU? If the HBCUs had the Divine and they, Nine, and then that's when the PWIs, the black people who went to PWIs, they carried the Divine Nine yeah, over to the PWIs the, because... Like, a PWI yeah. is not fun. It's really not. It's y'all that make it fun. If that's what, like, it's. Oh my gosh, Google is free. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Google is free. Okay. But you're picking up what we laying down. Yeah. Huh, HBCUs are just that girl, even though we all in broke. Uh, we in the middle of broke towns and we all broke. Yeah, we still that girl. Walmart is your best friend. Like, I got a bunch of clothes from Walmart, especially my raincoat. Y'all get a raincoat before you come here. Brian boots. And rain boots. Yeah. I would even go as far as to say, get you some waterproof pants just in case. No. I got me some. Some umbrella Let me pants. See. Let me see. If you're already from the South, then you probably already have this stuff. Like, I already had a raincoat, rain boots, umbrella, yeah. etc. But if you're not, and the weather here is great, y'all. Like, the trees are thriving. Shut up! <laughs> You took out some trees, and then she never go by the trees anymore. She's like, no. No, How there's you? one. No, there's evil trees. <laughs> there's an evil tree that I never go by. The rest of the trees are acceptable, but the evil tree, absolutely not. I go around it. I ride, I walk in the street. Jay, walk if you must. Well, I do. Yeah. G. Well, we finna go get dinner, y'all. Are we? Yes. Bye, so, YouTube family. That's the end of this you video. Make sure y'all. Like, I didn't get one yet. Um, thanks for watching this video. We'll be back with another say, one. Woo! You can say like Dree is the goat. Thanks for no! watching this video, y'all. No, it's your girl, the dying Dree. I'll be back. Y'all yeah, see them more on my channel beautiful. for the rest of the school year. Dree team. Dree team. Dree team. Yeah, we're the Dree team. Because like Dream <laughs> team. Hannah, Hannah. No, like Dream team. Dree team. Like that ain't. Hey. <laughs> and give me that motherfucker play. <laughs> Bye y'all.